Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F124 and another part of the Lewis Hamilton career mode. Today, we've got one of my favourite Grand Prix of the season in Sao Paulo. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. Uh, leave a like if you are enjoying, of course. And, uh, well, let's... Let's set some targets. So, uh, yeah, better position than teammate in qualifying. That sounds good. Uh, oh, six laps in practice sessions is probably going to be done. And different tyres is probably going to be done as well. Uh, we do have 407 resource points to spend. So, let's... Um, let's protect some of our stuff yeah that all looks good let's push on okay mate i'm pleased to say that our new parts have come through without any issue so they'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend let's get ready for the next race here we go into brazil for um round 21 of 24 we are getting towards the end of season one Looking forward to joining Ferrari next season as well. And wow, look at that. It's going to be rainy for sprint qualifying, dry for sprint race, dry for qualifying, but then wet for the feature race. I'll see you for SQ1 very shortly. Atmospheric tracks don't come much better than this. We're in Brazil for qualifying. Let's get some laps at the limit. Okay, then. Here we are, ready for sprint qualifying it looks like it is going to rain towards the end of the session so we need to get out there pretty quickly let's have a little check of how the weather is going to look that's q2 that's q3 well to be fair it doesn't look like it's it's going to rain straight away in any of these sessions perhaps just later on in the session i suppose we will have to see uh, pace has been pretty good this weekend. Um, I'll show you the, the setup uh, for what we're doing. We'll add a couple of clicks to our front wing as always. But uh, everything else is, is looking very, very good. So let's get ourselves into spring qualifying. Of course, we've got to try and get through on the medium tyres. Um, pace has been pretty awesome on the hard tyres this weekend. So that's certainly looking like a good race tyre for us when the time comes but um, yeah, let's see what we can do on a set of mediums let's see if we can set the pace here we've got a, a lovely tour from Oscar Piastri let's see where we end up here so Piastri has gone quickest for now little lock up as we go into turn one Ideal. That's the starting quickest at the moment with a 108.3. We did a 107.9 in practice on the soft tyres. So we definitely know that we can go quicker than what Max has shown here. So we're expecting it a little bit slower on these mediums first time this weekend that we have been on said medium tyres 107.9 there for Charles Leclerc and a purple sector 2 for us there little clip of the corner on the inside there that's slowed our progress down this mightily long straight that's not even straight we head up to the line to 108.2 you suggest that that will be more than enough to get through to SQ2. But let's uh, return to garage anyway. And we'll keep an eye on the times, but uh, yeah, looked very, very good there and quicker than our teammate George Russell by a couple of tenths of a second. But Charles Leclerc, he's certainly the one to beat at the moment, particularly through sector one. Yeah, he's looking very, very quick there. But yes, comfortably through to SQ2 then. And fingers crossed we can get through to SQ3 very nicely. Going out in SQ1 are uh, Daniel Ricciardo, Pierre Gasly, Nico Hulkenberg, Lance Stroll and Joe Guan Yu. 
Right then, here we come up to the line in SQ2. And well, it's a 108 1, very, very similar time to what we've produced in SQ1. Let's just start and go slightly quicker, as did George Russell. So, yeah, let's uh, zoom it forward. We should be absolutely fine. It is looking like it is getting a little bit darker out there. Potentially could see some rain in SQ3, but Max Verstappen. Quickest of the lot in SQ2. Russell second there. And we're in third. So we're looking very, very fast out there. But going out in Q2 or SQ2. Valtteri Bottas, Esteban Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda, Logan Sargent and Alex Albon. Well, as you can see, it is raining in SQ3. So we've fueled the car up. I'm going to head out there and put in as many times as we can we head up to the line only ninth quickest on our first runs we we had a, a couple of sideway moments in that lap so i'm expecting a big improvement in lap two here okay here we come with our second flying lap in sq3 and it's still only ninth place for now so yeah struggling in the wet is a surprise here we come much better lap this time four tenths quicker up to the line and that takes us up to fifth and now it's a case of trying to break that little bit later just keep pushing out there keep trying to get better times just find those little increments of time it's sector one where we're really struggling at the moment and here we come then another couple of tenths shaved off and that puts us fourth and this is our last lap but unfortunately a little mistake through turn one's lost us a couple of tenths of a second, that's going to be crucial. Unless we massively improve through the rest of the lap, that is going to be that, I think. A 15-4 now from Max Verstappen. Where has he found that time? That is bonkers. But yeah, big lock up there. Finding a little bit of time, but not enough, and you can see we're dropping down the order here. Seventh, eighth. And we've dropped down to P8. Come on, keep pushing. Yeah, I haven't got enough there, and we head wide, and yeah, very scruffy we'll in the end, the end and it's going to be P8. On the grid for the sprint race, we're going to practice coming into the pits. P9 now. Well, there we go. Really disappointing qualifying session from us there. In Q3, just didn't have the pace. We put the fuel in the car, tried to build the confidence. Didn't really work for us, though. Max Verstappen is going to be on sprint pole. We've got eight laps to try and turn it around in the sprint. Forget pit stops, forget fuel management. It's pedal to the metal all the way here as we get ready for today's sprint. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two where getting a good run out of Jung Kao into one of two DRS zones will be key to any overtaking prospects today. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's sprint. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Fernando Alonso alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Sainz, Russell, Norris, Oscar Piastri, 
Perez, Hamilton, Magnussen, Albon, Sargent, Sonoda, Ocon, Bottas, Ricardo, Gasly, Hulkenberg, Stroll, and Joe Guan Yu. And with preparations almost complete, let's head trackside for today's sprint. Welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes. Alongside me is Anthony Davidson. So a sprint race today, and that means lights to flag, no stops. And how is that going to affect the driver behind the wheel? Absolutely. So for today, there's no pit stop or shouldn't be a pit stop anyway if things go right and you can forget about strategy. You're just driving today as fast as you can. Make those overtakes if you need to. And that's what a sprint weekend's all about. OK, here we are down on the track then. And, uh, well, there's two options. We can go for the softs or we can go for the mediums. I think uh, let's go for the softs. Let's be aggressive out there. And let's uh, let's give it our all. Can we get ourselves some points here? We're starting outside of the points for once in the sprint here. Formation lap gets underway. Looks like everybody is sprint. starting on the soft to tire. See who gets pole position? Let's see that commentary a bit out of date. The sprint completely separate now from uh, the race in terms of pole position and all of that. So yeah, looking forward to seeing how we get on here. Um, I'm confident. I As think we can, we can do well here. On the, grid, the final preparations have been made, and all that's left is for the drivers to deliver on track. We just couldn't get the, the tyres uh, hooked up on the intermediate conditions, but we know that we're at least top four in speed in the dry. So here we go. It's all going to be about trying to get a good run down to turn one. Maybe taking an outside line. Getting past the cars in front. 100% live come here. And we are ready for the lights. Lights out. Away we go here in Brazil for the sprint race. It's a decent start off the grid. A little bit of contact with Alex Albon. And that's going to really affect our ability to race in the sprint here. And we've illegally three, overtaken Sergeant, so we have to let him back past. And, well, this is going from bad to worse. Contact again with the Alpine that time. And, yeah, we're just... Uh, we're going to really struggle now. And that's a real shame. And how many times has that happened this season where... Whoa, okay, big, you've taken damage big, the big to feel contact there between Sargent and Alex Albon. Albon out of the session. Is that going to be safety car? Is it going to be red flag? I mean, that was crazy. Albon ran wide and then went straight into Logan Sargent as he was coming back onto the racetrack. Now then see we're losing time already to the guys in front is sergeant gonna pit no he's not so now we have to settle into the pace of the race but yeah we just have not got the downforce look at that we had to really drag it through that corner we're not in drs range it's uh Looks like it's going to be a very disappointing sprint for us. Very different to the last sprint that we had in Austin. But yeah, just really disappointed there that made that contact through the first couple of corners. I'm hoping that as we get used to the the damage we might be able to just get Sergeant, maybe even Kevin Magnussen, but to get into the top eight that's going to be a real challenge. It's going to be about trying to do better in the race. Obviously we've got qualifying and the race to come. So it's not all over just yet. But yeah, we're just locking up pretty much every corner because we've just got no downforce because so much of the downforce of this the car pods have taken damage you might start to pick up a little bit extra drag 
is generated by the floor side pods spot ass and a little look there and you can see the pace differential and I mean that's it with a kick sauber seconds behind it's just really sad I was so hopeful and confident that we could get up into the top five today but we just got a wounded animal of a car teammate ahead 6.2 seconds that's what that's having another log but yeah, we just can't can't keep the car on the racetrack. Okay, gap to the car ahead, 2.5 seconds. We might just be better off retiring the car here. I'm not sure we're going to magically find that pace that we were looking for. All that damage there. 2.6 seconds down the gap. Well, I think we can do better. But again, it's you know a combination of poor qualifying position and well, I mean, look at that. Just flying past we've just got on, so much win that place back. extra drag at, and, and I, I think honestly well we're gonna have to hand that position back yeah I think honestly we're gonna have to retire the car because look I mean Sonoda's passing us Gasly's passing us now the car is just not good down to 15th place and it's a real shame because as I say this is one of my absolute favourite tracks and well there you go Ricardo's past now and we just seem to be losing pace and no real idea why why all of a sudden on this lap we've lost so many positions We can't even get good traction out of a corner. DRS is open, but I don't think it's going to make much difference. There goes Joe Guan Yu. And there goes Lance Stroll. And yeah, that was just silly of me. So I guess that's it. That is going to be us out of this sprint race. It was a really poor display. All caused by contact at turn one. Never mind. <laughs> we move. We move on. And sorry for the short episode today. I was looking forward to that well, sprint. That's the end of the sprint action. Next up, we will set the grid for the Grand Prix. We'll see you next time. So there you go then, Max Verstappen wins the sprint race, half a second ahead of uh, Carlos Sainz and Charles Leclerc in third there. Lando Norris fourth, Alonso fifth, Russell sixth, then Perez and Piastri. Uh, Charles Leclerc has gone above George Russell into third in the championship. We're still two points ahead of him. And yeah, we need to have a much better race tomorrow to have a chance. But uh, yeah, we're going to be losing a hell of a lot of... Uh, stuff there yeah not good but yeah absolutely good folks uh what can i say but determined to turn it around tomorrow with uh our full feature race qualifying and uh potentially a, re a wet race in there as well 
If you have enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.